Hi students, welcome to today's class. Today I am going to explain the problems from the binomial theorem which were given in the previous JEE mains examination. So particularly uh, our title is coefficients. The problems related to coefficient problems I am going to explain. Okay, now. So let us see these problems. The first here the problem is if the coefficients of x and x square in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power of p into 1 minus x whole to the power of q that means total combined 1 plus x whole to the power of p into 1 minus x whole to the power of q where p and q are less than or equal to 15 are minus 3 and minus 5 respectively that means coefficient of x is minus 3 coefficient of x square is minus 5 respectively then the coefficient of x cube is equal to understand this right let us see the solution first of all this is the expression given that is a 1 plus x whole to the power of p into 1 minus x whole to the power of q in this the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is equal to minus 3 so this is a coefficient minus 3x the coefficient of x square is the coefficient of x square is minus 5 so that is minus 3x minus 5x square now he is asked to find out the coefficient of x cube the coefficient of x cube question mark question is very clear very clear so 1 plus x whole to the power of p 1 minus x whole to the power of q coefficient of x is minus 3 coefficient of x square is minus 5 then what is the coefficient of x cube okay now so this is a integer uh, answer type questions that's why options are not given right let us see here so to find out the coefficient of x cube we have to find out p value q value understand p value q value that is our main aim that is our main aim. if you know p and q value we can find out coefficient of any term any power but the only one hint is given is p and q are less than or equal to 15 that's all p and q are less than or equal to 15 that much only given okay then how to proceed how to proceed this problem let us uh, we will proceed like this first of all write the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power of p and 1 minus x whole to the power of q okay now so let us write ex expansion what is 1 plus x whole to the power of p expansion so the first term is obviously 1 plus so this is a qc1 into x sorry here p will be there pc1 into x next term is pc2 into x square next term is pc3 into x cube last term is pc p into x to the power of p so this is the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power of p into into 1 minus x whole to the power of q expansion so that is equal to q c 0 that is equal to 1 plus q c 1 into x q c 2 into x square q c 3 into x cube last one sorry here minus is there plus minus plus minus alternate last one minus one whole to the power of q into q c q into x to the power of q understand this right so first i wrote the one plus x whole to the power of p expansion and into into it is not plus into one minus x whole to the power of q expansion also right from this we will take the x coefficient and x square coefficient okay now x term we will take uh, x square term let us see this first coefficient of x that means we have to take out the x term then how we will take x term first to take one from one you have to multiply with the x term there one you have to multiply with x term that one into this is the x term that is what the x coefficient minus q c one so that is equal to minus q c one understand from what term maybe the term the, you will the, you multiplied you won't get you won't get anything okay now next one take the second term here x is there you have to multiply with the constant here to get the x term so pc1 into the constant is 1 so therefore here 
द कोफिशंट इज पी सी वन पी सी वन इथ वट एवर मे बी द टर्म नेक्स्ट टर्म यू मल्टीप्लाई यू यू विल गेट एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स क्यूब लाइक दट यू विल गेट सो दिस इज ईक्वल टू माइनस क्यू सी वन इज ईक्वल टू माइनस क्यू प्लस पी सी वन मीन्स हाउ मच पी दिस इज ईक्वल टू वाट इज द कोफिशंट ऑफ एक्स इज गिवेन माइनस थ्री यू विल गेट माइनस थ्री सो देर फॉर p minus q is equal to minus 3 otherwise you multiply with uh, <coughs> minus so therefore q minus p is equal to 3 so multiply with minus 1 so q minus p is equal to 3 so that is a one a relation we got in q and p okay now now let us take the coefficient of x square coefficient of x square then how to get coefficient of x square means here One into that side you have to take the x square term you have to take. So that is a one into here x square coefficient is what q c t. So that is a q c two plus only q c two. That is over. Next what you have to take p c one into x. X into you have to multiply with the x x into x x square. So that you will get the coefficient of x square. That is equal to here P C one minus Q C one. That is equal to minus P C one into Q C one. So that is a coefficient of x square. Next water maybe the number you multiply you won't get x square. You will get x cube like that. Next one P C two into x square. Here x square is there. You multiply with constant term here. X square into one constant term. That is equal to P C two into one. That is equal to plus P C two. P C two into one P C two x square. Okay now, so next whatever may be the numbers you multiply with this number to the exponents, you will get a more than x square. So this is the coefficient of x square. So this is equal to coefficient of x square is equal to minus five. That is equal to minus five. So here we have Q C two minus P C one and Q C one plus P C two. Okay now, right? So let us. Uh, Take a, have a one equation from this equation. We will get one more equation in Q and P. Let us solve those two equations. We will get a separately P value and Q value, and we will substitute there. Afterwards, we will get the x cube coefficient. Okay, now let us continue the solution. Welcome to the remaining calculation. Here already Q minus P is equal to three. We got one relation between P and Q. So let us get another relation from this. Uh, 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 from this equation okay now so let us see here q c 2 means what q into q minus 1 by 1 into 2 2 minus p c 1 value is p q c 1 value is q p c 2 means p into p minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 5 okay now right multiply with 2 first of all so if you multiply and multiply this also so therefore q square minus q minus p q So minus two p q. This is equal to plus p square minus p is equal to minus ten. Okay now. See these three terms. These three terms. So this is equal to p square plus q square minus two p q. So we can write it as a uh, q minus p whole square. Q minus p whole square. Okay now. Minus q minus p. So we can take a minus common or say q plus p is equal to minus ten. Minus of q plus p is equal to minus ten. Already q minus p value three we have, so that is equal to three square nine minus of q plus p is equal to minus ten. So this is equal to q plus p is equal to take this minus ten to left hand side. This is equal to ninety. And q minus p is equal to three. Already nineteen. This is already q minus p value three. We got so then you add it. it. So this is a two q is equal to nineteen plus three. So this is equal to twenty two. Therefore q is equal to eleven. Okay now. So after q is equal to eleven, so this is a p value is equal to eight. So q plus p is equal to nineteen. So p value eight you got and uh, q value eleven uh, you got. Understand? So after learning, uh, after knowing this p value, q value, 
substitute here and you expand and you will get the coefficient of x cube okay now so let us continue the solution welcome back here p value we got 8 q value we got 11 let us substitute here so this is equal to 1 plus x 8 into 1 minus x whole power 11 1 minus x q value is 11 okay now it is easy to find out the coefficient of x cube so let us expand this is uh, this is equal to 1 plus uh, 8 c 1 into x plus 8 c 2 into x square plus so on okay no need of remaining terms so here 1 minus 11 c 1 into x plus 11 c 2 into x square minus so on okay last term no need by because we want only x cube coefficient x cube coefficient so one more thing you have to write down so this is equal to minus 11 c 3 x cube minus 11 c 3 x cube okay now right so let us see this here right so how to get a uh, uh, coefficient of uh, so here one more thing we can do easily where one more thing is so without writing this such an expression i got an idea here see here this is a 1 plus x whole power 8 so this is a 1 minus x whole power 8 into 1 minus x whole power 3 we can write it as so this is 1 plus x into 1 minus x 1 minus x square so this is a 1 minus x square whole power 8 into 1 minus x whole cube right it is easy better compared so you can do like that also no problem so we can take as a 1 into minus 11 c3 like that also you can take so better i think it is easy to do that right 1 8 c 0 1 minus 8 c 1 8 c 0 into 1 minus 8 c 1 into x square plus 8 c 2 into x square whole square that is a x to the power of 4 okay now so enough enough so on last one is a 1 minus 1 minus 3 c 1 3 x plus 3 x square minus x cube so that is a minus x cube a minus b whole square a square minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b cube in this we can easily get the coefficient of x cube coefficient of x cube i am writing here coefficient of x cube then the coefficient of x cube is here here 1 into minus x cube that is here you will get a minus 1 here x square is there here x is there then you will get x cube minus into minus plus 8 c 1 value is 8 8 threes are 24 plus 24 again anywhere x cube you will get x cube you will get nothing so minus 1 plus 24 minus 1 plus 24 is equal to 23 23 will be the final answer understand so here i here by uh, expanding like that also you will get but uh, 1 minus x whole power 8 so if you do like that also you will get okay now so such a easy problem so this problem uh, even though it looks uh, somewhat uh, lengthy but the very easy the total problem lies in solving the p value q value understand solving p and q value so if you solve this p and q value so getting x cube coefficient it is uh, not at all a difficult okay now so i hope that you understand this solution so let us go to next problem hi students welcome to this uh, second problem let the coefficients of x power minus 1 and x power minus 3 in the expansion of 2x to the power of 1 by 5 minus 1 by x to the power of 1 by 5 whole to the power of 15 where x is a positive b m and n respectively if r is the positive integer r is the positive integer such that m n square is equal to 15 cr into 2 power r then the value of r is equal to okay now right let us see the solution here first here what is the given data so here there is a binomial that is a 2 into x to the power of 1 by 5 minus 1 by x to the power of 1 by 5 whole to the power of 50. 2 into x to the power of 1 by 5 minus 1 by x to the power of 1 by 5 whole to the power of 50. Whole to the power of 50 where x get a b. In this, in this binomial expansion there will be 16 terms in that definitely there is a 1 term x power minus 1 its coefficient is m so that is m x to the power of minus 1 will come 
then the x to the power of minus 3 coefficient is n that is a n into x to the power of minus 3 that means x to the power of minus 1 coefficient is m x to the power of minus 3 coefficient is n and it is given that there is a relation between m and n relation between m and n is m n square is equal to 15 c r into 2 to the power of r then he is asked to find out the value of r understand so this is the problem now first we will find out the coefficient of x power minus 1 and the coefficient of x power minus 3 in this expansion generally uh, then afterwards we will substitute m and n value then afterwards we will get the r value ok no problem but general students here they will do to find the coefficient of x power minus 1 x power minus 3 they will do they will write general term that is tr plus 1 is equal to x to the power of n minus r into y to the power of r and they will uh, equate the power of x to minus 1 and minus 3 from there you will get r value like that but without doing that there is a short trick is there so you can find out directly the r value in which you will get x power minus 1 and x power minus 3 okay na? so there is a short direct formula is there let us see that formula let us see that formula so here the formula is here already i explained in the uh, theory part once again i will revi uh, revise that formula the formula is if a x to the power of p plus r minus b by c x to the power of q whole to the power of n so there is a binomial in this form a x to the power of p plus r minus b by c x to the power of q whole to the power of n in this uh, n plus 1 terms are there if you want to find out the some coefficient of x power m for example the x power m the term will come in a, in the place of a t r plus 1 the term is equal to x power r then r is given by the formula see here n into p n into p minus x power m no minus m by p plus q <coughs> p plus q so n into p minus m by p plus q if it is a uh, constant term or independent term here x power 0 only n p by p plus q is there so here also same uh, let us take first x to the power of minus 1 x to the power of minus 1 okay now coefficient of x to the power of minus 1 so the x to the power of minus 1 let t r plus 1 the term in that term t r plus 1 the term if you are getting x power minus 1 then r is equal to r is equal to see here 15 into this value that is equal to uh, this is a 1 by 5 into 50 minus here what is the power here minus 1 is there that is a minus 1 by p plus q that is equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 so you see here 5 ones are 5 threes are 3 plus 1 4 4 by 2 by 5 so 2 ones are 2 twos are cancelled 10 so r value is 10 that means in the 11th term in this 11th term you will get x to the power of minus 1 okay now so let us find out that uh, coefficient of x to the power of minus 1 okay welcome back here so here we will find out r is equal to 10 so therefore so t r plus 1 this is equal to 15 c 10 so that is equal to 15 c 10 that means in the 6th uh, 11th term you will get 11th term you will get x to the power of minus 1 so 15 c 10 so this is a first and second term no need of writing x terms here 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 15 minus 10 how much this is a 5 into minus 1 so here minus 1 to the power of 10 so this is equal to 15 c 10 2 to the power of 5 this value is m this value is m put it in the box so you got the m value as 15 c 10 into 2 to the power of 5 similarly similarly coefficient of x power minus 3 let it the let it the, the term x to the power of minus 3 term will come in t r plus 1 the term where r is equal to r is equal to sorry, n into p so 15 into 1 by 5 15 into 1 by 5 minus 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 3 minus of minus 3 by p plus q 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 now calculate here 15 ones are 15 uh, 3 are sorry 5 3 are 15 3 plus 3 6 
so this is equal to 6 by 2 by 5 that is equal to 2 1s are 2 3s are this is equal to 50 that is equal to 50 that means 16th term in the 16th term you will get x power minus 3 obviously here actually no need to do so here the thing is observe the last term minus 1 by x to the power of 1 by 5 whole to the power of 15 how much you will get 1 by 5 into 15 x power 3 1 by x power 3 x power minus 1 therefore so here is equal to coefficient of x power minus 3 is equal to how much you will get here minus 1 you will get minus 1 coefficient of x power minus 3 is equal to how much minus 1 so this is nothing but n value therefore so your n value is equal to minus 1 so we got uh, m value and we got n value in substitute mn square is equal to 15 cr into 2 power r from there you will get r value okay now so let us continue the solution welcome back to the remaining calculation so here we got m value n value let us substitute there so here it is given that mn square is equal to 15 cr into 2 to the power of r now what is a m value 15 c 10 so this is equal to 15 c 10 15 c 10 or 15 c 5 both are equal into 2 to the power of 5 into n square value is equal to how much minus 1 minus 1 whole square is equal to 1 so this is equal to 15 c r 2 to the power of 5 so if you compare compare both the quantities 15 c 5 15 c r 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power of r so clearly r value is equal to 5 so then the value of r is equal to 5 so very easy problem from this problem what you have to learn is how to find out uh, the term which contain x to the power of minus 1 and x to the power of minus 3 i told one formula np minus cm by p plus q so if you apply that formula you will get directly uh, r value otherwise sir if you uh, if you don't remember uh, that formula so you can write down the general term tr plus 1 is equal to 15 cr so this is equal to 2 into x power 1 by 5 whole to the power of 15 minus r into minus 1 by x to the power of 1 by 5 whole to the power of r from this uh, you write down x to the power of something that something is equal to minus 1 you will get r value understand next the something that's that x power that power is equal to minus 3 from that you will get r value okay now right i hope that you enjoyed this uh, solution let us go to next problem hi students welcome to this uh, problem so here the problem is see here if 20 c r is the coefficient of x power r in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power of 20 then the value of sigma r runs from 0 to 20 r square into 20 cr that means let us first expand this so that we will have a clarity that what to do what we have to find out first put r is equal to 0 so if you put r is equal to 0 here 0 so everything will become 0 put r is equal to 1 okay now so if you put r is equal to 1 so what you will get this is equal to 1 into 20 c 1 so that is equal to 20 c 1 plus 2 square into 20 c 2 plus 3 square into 20 c 3 plus the last one 20 square into 20 c 20 so this value you require so once again i am telling first substitute r is equal to 0 that will become 0 next r is equal to 1 1 square 1 into 20 c 1 2 square into 20 c 2 3 square into 20 c 3 last one 20 square into 20 c 20 that value is required understand this is the value you require this is equal to how much let us see how to proceed this problem for this there is a hint given what is the hint is equal to the expansion 1 plus x whole to the power of 20 1 plus x whole to the power of 20 what is the 1 plus x whole to the power of 20 expansion so let us do here so first term is a 1 so first term is obviously it is a 1 
plus c1 i will call it as a c1 no problem c1 into x plus c2 into x square plus c3 into x cube so on c20 into x to the power of 20 c20 into x to the power of 20 so here we will approach a different uh, uh, thing here first to differentiate this with respect to x on both sides what is the differentiation here so this is equal to 20 into 1 plus x whole power 19 for one differentiation 0 so this is equal to c1 plus this is a x square derivation is a 2x that is a 2c2 into x x cube derivative to 3x square so that is equal to 3c3 x square plus so on last one 20 c 20 x to the power of 90 20 c 20 x to the power of 90 okay now so that is the first thing. now in this uh, expansion uh, multiply with the x multiply with the x let us see what happens so this is equal to 20 x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 19 so this is a c 1 x plus c 2 x square 3 c 3 x cube plus so on 20 into c 20 x to the power of 20 understand let us differentiate once again let us uh, differentiate this expression once again okay now then we will get the remaining solution now let us differentiate this expression let us differentiate this expression this is equal to 20 into u into v formula that is a uh, x into 19 into 1 plus x whole to the power of 18 plus that is a uh, x power n derivative to n into x to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 plus whole power 19 x derivative is 1 so no need to write down now here c1 x square derivative is 2x already 2 is there here x square derivative is a 2x already 2 is there we can write down 2 square c 2 x ok now x cube derivative is a 3 x square already 3 is there 3 square c 3 x square plus so on last term x power 20 derivative 20 into x to the power of 19 already be, uh, 20 is there 20 square into c 20 x to the power of 19 now in this expression so you got almost here 20 c 1 2 square 20 c 2 ok now so put x is equal to 1 put x is equal to 1 see the left hand side so put x is equal to 1 total here so put x is equal to 1 here so here 1 here 1 so this is called multiply 20 also otherwise you can do here so this is equal to 1 plus 1 2 2 to the power of 19 into 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 plus 1 2, 2 to the power of 19 is equal to so this is equal to I can write it as a c1 as a 20 c1 so that is equal to 20 c1 plus a 2 square into 20 c2 20 c1 plus 2 square into 20 c2 plus 3 square into 20 c3 plus so on 20 square into 20 c20 that means the complete right hand side part is the required part now let us find out this value let us find out this value uh, here you can take a 2 power 18 common outside so that is equal to 20 into 2 power 18 if you take common outside here 19 here 2 will be there 19 plus 2 21 so that is equal to 21 is equal to answer this is the answer required so this is a 20 into 21 so this is equal to how much 420 420 into 2 power 18 so 2 2s are 4 2 1s are 2 420 into 2 power 18 so 420 into 2 power 18 means option d is clearly your answer okay so the thing is here 1 plus x whole to the power of 20 first i differentiated next i we multiplied with the x again differentiation put x is equal to 1 okay so this is the method of solving this problem there is no i think uh, uh, there is no other short trick method this is one of the best method right be, there may be a short trick method but this is one of the best method so here 2 square 3 square 
but there are some certain results are also there okay right i hope that you uh, enjoyed today's class with uh, some more topics and some more problems and uh, tomorrow's class i will stand before you so until then all the best